a lot of patients have read about uh, minimally invasive surgical techniques and different surgical approaches and all that. Uh, I've actually done them all and the bottom line is, is it's like a race car. It doesn't matter how fast the car is, it depends on who's driving it. So I will go have my hip or knee replaced by a highly qualified, very excellent surgeon who does a great job and I don't care what approach they do because it's not the approach that makes the difference, it's the person who's doing the approach. So I've done posterior approaches, direct anterior, to incision, now I'm back to a very minimal uh, posterior approach. I tell people minimally invasive is, is a, a term that's hard to describe, but, but my plan is to do a good job putting your hip or knee in, and I will use as short of an incision as possible with as little dissection as I possibly can to get the job done correctly, but I will make it as long as I need to to get the job done correctly. So some of you may have a three inch incision, some of you may have a four inch, but I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that you individually have the best result possible and not just do you know, a job that's not very good just so I can say, oh look, my incision is really, really tiny. So again, minimally invasive just means trying to decrease soft tissue disruption I've been doing a lot of those since the late 90s, and I currently do a mini posterior lateral approach. And again, even when the two incision was popular, you know, the direct anterior is popular now, it's not the surgical approach that makes the difference, it's the surgeon.